Hi everybody, this is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot, and I have another reading here for you today. This is going to be all signs in love for singles and couples for the month of February. And keep in mind, energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay, there's so many amazing readers out there, one of them will resonate with you. And I will have timestamps in the description for each individual zodiac sign. On a side note guys, I woke up with quite the cold today um, so if I have an issue with my throat chakra or if my voice is really raspy I apologize ahead of time I uh, just felt guided to get this message out for you guys anyway so let's start with the sign of Aries in love for singles and couples it's a lot of cards Aries it's a lot of cards okay Aries, there's something that you're really waiting on, okay? Some of you are waiting patiently, some of you are not. But either way, you're holding tightly to something that you think is going to bring you stability, something that you think is going to bring you passion. But for whatever reason, the other person on your mind, they're not extending their emotions or cup right now. They're not rushing towards you. And it feels a little unfair right now. You feel like things should be going differently. You feel like you should be celebrating right now. You feel like the wish fulfillment should have come in. I get that a lot of you are waiting for someone to contact you and you've been waiting for a little while and you're wondering why in the world it hasn't happened. I'm going to use a couple cards from the Terra of Sexual Magic here. Okay, so this is someone who you might have had encounters with before in a passionate nature. You, you might have... <laughs> wow, guys. So I'm getting immediately that whoever you're thinking of, um, either things got really heated very quickly or, yeah, it just got heated really quickly. That's what I see. I see that it was very passionate. It was very quick. It was spicy. It was kinky. You know, there was something about it that was a lot of fun. But there was people around you in the situation who might have not approved of this. It might have actually been a little bit secret is what I'm getting for my Aries people. And you're just not, for some reason, I'm getting that it ended. I'm getting that it ended for some reason. And you're just lying in wait. You're wanting a new start with this person. You don't want to walk away. You want that passion to be back. You, you want to cater to them. You want them to cater to you. You just, you miss that passion. That's what I'm getting, guys. You miss you miss the passion. But once again, there was other people in this scenario that were blocking this from fully manifesting. Um, yeah, that's the energy that I'm feeling for February for you guys. I'd like to get an answer on whether or not this person's going to contact you. Let me grab this here. So actually, I'm going to pull out another card deck here. Now this is just a normal playing card deck that I have, you know, intuitive messages, yes, no, maybe answers on it. So let's ask right here, is this person going to contact you in the month of February? Okay, I say, okay, seven of diamonds. You have planted the seeds. It is time to patiently wait and see what they will grow into. You have put in the work. You don't get to know the outcome yet. Be patient. Oh, guys. Aries, I don't know if that's out of focus or not. Oh, Aries, I feel your pain on that one. That's rough. But sometimes, sometimes it's true. We don't get to know the answers, even if we want them. Sometimes, sometimes the surprise is the best part. So this is saying at this time, you don't get to know, or it's up in the air. But either way, you've done your best in this scenario. You've done what you can. And either way, the best will happen, even if it's not the answer you wanted to hear. All right, Aries. Now let's move on to Taurus. Taurus in love. Okay, Taurus. So I'm getting that there's a situation that might have been toxic in the past, but you're actually, you're just, you're, you're choosing to stay in it. 
and you're trying to build something stable and healthy and beautiful within it. So this is, I get that this is somebody who maybe in the past things didn't work out with, but you're ready to give it another shot for whatever reason. I think you see a lot of potential with this person, but yeah, I see in the past that they weren't extending the same stability to you. You felt like you weren't allowed to really make things better and grow. It was a balancing act, but you wanna, you're wanna, you ready to move away from that sadness. You wanna end the conflict. You want there to be action. I, I'm seeing that you want a new start here, that you wanna give it another try. Wow, guys. So let's see here. And you're actually, things are heating up in the month of February between you and this person. You're feeling especially passionate. This person actually might come in correct this time. Let's see. And I'm not even saying this is an ex, guys. This could have been, I mean, it probably is an ex. Let's be honest. I can't lie to you. But it's at least someone from the past. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is Eight of Wands here. So I don't know if you can see that. My camera never wants to be in focus. So it's basically a couple laying on the ground having a little picnic. It's a sensual picnic, of course. But the man is feeding the woman as they're just enjoying the scenery. It's very comfortable. It's very loving. It's romantic. And I'm seeing that that's kind of the energy you're moving into in February. You know, if you're already in a relationship with this person, if it never actually truly ended, this is you guys revitalizing, spicing up the relationship. There might be a bit of a power struggle here in the dynamic, but you know what? I get that basically one of you is going to wrestle the other one to the ground, okay? And this is going to be the result in the end. <laughs> There's going to be fireworks, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be passionate, it's going to be wonderful, but in the end, you guys are going to be beat, but satisfied. That's, that's what I'm getting. That It's going to be awesome, you know, really awesome. If you are single, this is kind of the energy coming in for you. I see you guys... I don't think you guys are dating multiple people. I think it'll be one person that starts to show an interest in you or you start to show an interest in them. And things are going to pick up kind of fast for you, Taurus. I definitely see a sexy, awesome energy here. I like that, Taurus. Let's just get quick messages out for you guys today. All right, my Gemini people. Oh, Gemini. Okay, so for the month of February, I'm seeing a lot of you Geminis are actually trying to kind of stay in a a single, yeah, wow. So a lot of you Geminis are wanting to stay single, single and work on yourself, work on your stability, um, work on your personal happiness. You're ready to change things. With this tower moment, I don't see this as a tower moment that was basically forced upon you, I see you kicking over the tower yourself. You know things need to change. You know that things can't stay the same. It's got to transform. I'm surprised I don't see the death card here, to be honest with you. With the tower card, I feel like you got out your tools, you got out your sledgehammer, and you just made it happen, Gemini, for February. You're... Okay... So Gemini, with this, I see in terms of romance for the month of February, like I said, if you are single, for the most of February, that's the energy you're going to be embracing is that singlehood. In fact, most of you Geminis, I think you're going to be happy being single. You're going to be comfortable because you have so many other things you're focusing on, okay? But at the same time, what's very interesting about that, the minute that you decide, oh, I'm happy being single, I like this, I have freedom, I'm working on my stuff, all of a sudden you're going to have a suitor or suitors coming out of the woodworks, contacting you pretty quickly. I would say because this is the Knight of Cups and not like the Knight of Wands or Knight of Swords, this will be anywhere from mid-February to the end of February. You're, you'll start to notice these people coming towards you. And not only are they coming towards you um, romantically, but it's going to be, they're going to be a little more emotional. You might hear, I love you, you know, even if it's someone new, you know, and you're going to have choices. So I'm getting you get a few people here, at least two, but you, you get a couple different suitors here for sure. But keep in mind that you don't see the full situation right now, even though these people are coming in and they look 
like they're they have integrity they look like they mean the best i'm getting that all of the suitors that come in might not be looking out for your best interests keep that in mind there might be one or more of them that really want to take from you and aren't as interested in something long lasting so that's just something to keep in mind and you might have okay you might have someone come towards you who you feel very passionate about, but they're already involved with someone else, okay? And if you're in a relationship, this is someone coming towards you knowing that you're already in a relationship, and they don't care, okay? And they won't be coming towards you in a stable manner. This is someone who kind of wants to hit it and quit it. I hate saying that, Gemini. I'm a Gemini myself. I don't like that. But anyway, um, so if you're in a relationship, I'm not saying you're going to break up with this person at all. I'm just saying you might pull back a bit and not be as focused on your partner. You'll be focused on pretty much everything else in terms of your stability and your career and that kind of stuff. A lot of you might be working on a side gig as well with this three of pentacles. Because like I said, I'm getting that you're crafting these pentacles. Like a blacksmith, you're creating these pentacles, which you don't always have the ability to do that in a nine to five job where you're working for somebody else. So for some of you, this is a side gig. But either way, I definitely see in the month of February that you guys are going to have options. And even if you're in a happy relationship right now, you're going to have you're going to have suitors coming out of the woodwork. And it's going to be these people are going to try to sweep you off your feet, whether you're single or in a relationship with this. <laughs> there's the death card. I told you I told you I was surprised death wasn't out. But with this, this is this is the energy they're going to see you with. They're going to I mean, you're going to look hot as hell this this month Gemini okay you really are gonna put off this aura of just you're just gonna be desirable to many people and a lot of that has to do with the fact that you are so comfortable and happy in your own skin right now and that you're happy being single and because you're not chasing after people they're gonna start chasing after you all right Gemini that's what I get for you for February I'm having a hard time getting these cards off the table. Okay, Cancers in love. Ooh. Okay, Cancer. So, oh. Cancer, I get the feeling immediately that you're going to you're going to basically try to crawl into your shell. Okay? Anybody who tries to get close to you in the month of February, not only I think are you going to pull back into your shell, but you're going to you're going to reach out and pinch them. I think you're going to lash out a little bit. There's something about you that's especially emotionally vulnerable in February. I'm not sure why. Um you're kind of in I get that a lot of cancers you might appear happy to others, but you're not going to feel happy. Okay? There it's not depression, but it's just Maybe a moodiness would be the best way to describe it. Um, you're sick of waiting for your ships to come in. You're tired of waiting for the stability. You're tired of, you know, things not transforming as quickly as you want them to. You're wanting to rush into these transformations. You're wanting to rush these new beginnings, but it's just not happening. And that's got you a little frustrated, Cancer. Now that could be relationship related. You might feel like your correct partner is just not coming towards you, or you're just not finding the right people for you. Or you could feel like this is in your career. You're just not getting enough um, career opportunities that you're looking for. You're not getting you're just not getting enough opportunities and that's affecting your love life whether you're single or in a relationship you feel stagnant so if you are single I mean honestly if anyone comes your way showing an interest you're more likely to maybe bite them with your words okay to be a little mean with your words cancer which is which is actually a little surprising. I mean, cancers do have a tendency to get in their shell and maybe lash out a little bit if you get too close to their 
to the vulnerable side, but I feel like you'll be especially moody cancer. Um, and a lot of it just has to do with the stagnancy you're feeling. I mean, this, in my opinion, is one of the cancer cards and it was in the reverse, the chariot in reverse. So you're not feeling in your element. You basically, yeah, you're not feeling in your element. If you're in a relationship, my advice would be to just be honest with your partner and say, look, I love you. I care about you. This has nothing to do with you. I just need some space. Okay. I'm just, this is how I'm feeling. Nothing is really going to help at this moment besides getting some time to myself, having time to think. Okay. And even if it hurts them at first, they need to understand that. They need to respect those boundaries, Cancer. It's okay to ask people to give you space. It's absolutely okay. Let's see if I get anything from Eight of Wands. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So with this time getting the Eight of Wands, what I'm getting is that your partner might be, if you're in a relationship, your partner might be working on overdrive trying to give to you um, do things for you. They might even try to force you into letting them give you things, but you're not liking it, Cancer. You're really not liking it. it. It's it's not that you don't care about them. It's not that you don't appreciate the attention, but right now you don't appreciate the attention. Um, you're just not interested in, in um, being emotionally vulnerable at this time. I think you're going to move away from that. I think that's just the energy we're in right now. This Aquarius energy, I get the feeling that it's just very difficult on you. Um, you might be trapped up in your head a bit. And being as Cancer is such a watery, emotional, deep sign. When you're up in your head, as much as the Aquarius energy kind of forces you, it, it can cause some emotional turbulence. It can cause some confusion. It might have you reevaluating choices you felt good about in the past. But either way, I think you're going to move away from this. And I think your partner will understand. If you're single, you, you'll, you'll get back on the horse. You know, it's just a little, right now, it's just a little bit of a challenge, you know, opening yourself up. But just realize that anything meant for you will come in at the right time or it will come back to you. So don't worry about losing any opportunities during this time period that you're just feeling a little bit. I I'm surprised the Hermit card didn't come out for you because I think that's the energy that you're kind of wanting to be in, Cancer. I'll write my Leo people. <laughs> so Leo, immediately, the feeling I get... <laughs> I love this, Leo. So pretty much what I'm getting is that you guys want all love and no words. <laughs> Basically, I just got an image of a Leo looking at their partner going, shut up. Let's get it on. <laughs> That's basically the feeling that I just got for Leos. And whether you're in a relationship or you're single, it's that energy. <laughs> you Okay, I'm just, I'm getting that you're not really about talking about the serious stuff right now. You want that passion. You're ready to go. You're ready for the excitement. You're not interested in doing a lot of thinking right now. <laughs> you're just interested in making things happen emotionally and passionately. Yeah, you're ready to go with this full energy. You're just wanting to go. You don't want to wait anymore. You don't want, you don't want to hold back. You just, yeah, with this six of wands, it's just very, very passionate. You want to have that passionate experiences in love. Oh, Leo, Leo, feeling a little kinky too, a little unbridled for sure. Yeah, with that six of pentacles and the seven of wands there. Yeah, you're just feeling especially beautiful, Leo. You're feeling especially wonderful within your skin in the month of February. This energy is doing you good, Leo. I mean, already you guys have this exuberant, you know, kind of center stage type personality. You guys are usually pretty happy-go-lucky, not exactly carefree, but just passionate, 
passionate. And that's going to be your energy times 10 is the feeling I'm getting. And you're going to have lots of people around you really appreciating that, Leo. So if you're single, I get the feeling that you're going to have lots of options. You're going to have lots of people coming in, you know, wanting a PC, uh, no pun intended. Um, and even if you're in a relationship, you're also going to lot going to get a lot of attention. Your partner might not like that. And that's just a little bit a little bit of an extra story I'm getting here is that if you're in a relationship, you're going to have lots of people of both genders is what I'm getting coming to you, noticing you, being attracted to you, you know, wanting your energy and wanting something with you. And these people I think are fully aware you're in a relationship, but they're so attracted to you, they don't even care. So your partner might struggle a little bit in February, they might feel a little bit unbalanced, they might feel a little bit jealous or a lot jealous is what I'm feeling, Leo. So the best thing you could do is, <laughs> as hard as it's going to be, all that passion that you have, I would say direct it in the direction of your partner. Definitely push that towards your partner, push it towards yourself, try your best to narrow your vision to them <laughs> is what I'm getting, Leo. If you want to deal with less of the jealousy from your partner. That's interesting. Okay, Virgos. Okay, wow, Virgo. That's an interesting energy. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Lovers in Reverse. I need some more cards. That's At first when I saw the Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups... I was thinking new passionate beginnings, new emotional beginnings, but then there's that lovers in reverse. And then now we have the queen of cups in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse. Um, for some of you Virgos, you are choosing to end a relationship so that you can go into a more happy and stable, passionate beginning. It could be the relationship that you're in currently, if you're in a relationship, is just gone kind of stale. You might not feel passionate about this person anymore. They might not feel passionately about you anymore. And it's run its course and you're deciding to end it and move forward, move away from this sadness, move away from this feeling of lack and look for it elsewhere. That's for some of you, not everybody. Um, for another group of you, I'm getting that this is you wanting to end the sadness um, and feelings of lack within your relationship and then start something new and passionate with the same partner. So some of you are just trying to revitalize um, a relationship that has just felt really stagnant lately, not been especially passionate, not been especially happy. And that's beautiful, Virgo, because I get, for those of you in that story, this is someone you truly love, someone you truly want a future with, but we all get in those ruts. They say there's a seven-year itch for a reason. You know, and there's other things, like some people say after two years or after a full year, there's challenges. Either way, this is the part of your relationship that's just kind of stagnant. It happens. Things happen in cycles. If that's the case, I get that in February you're going to be working hard to turn that around, to take this lover's energy in reverse and really turn that back passionate, revitalize, go back to you know the excitement you felt at the beginning of your relationship. If you are single, what I'm getting is that a lot of you were holding on to past relationships or past flames or past situations and it was keeping you from moving forward into new situations and this is you going you know what screw it i'm going to be passionate i'm going to i'm going to get love i'm not going to give to people who who aren't going to give me the passion and love that i'm looking for i'm only going i'm only going for the full package baby i am only going for the full meal deal is what i'm getting and you're choosing not to extend your cup to people who um aren't going to extend it back to you in a healthy manner. That's beautiful, Virgo. So for those of you that are single, I'm getting that you guys are really practicing some self-worth, practicing some self-love in the month of February, and I absolutely love that. Let's check out our Tarot of Sexual Magic here. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we have the moon and the seven of swords. So yeah, this is kind of what I was feeling here. 
um, for a lot of you Virgos in relationships, I'm getting that this is kind of the energy. See how they have their backs turned to each other? It's almost like they just got done with lovemaking and both of them just don't feel fulfilled, don't feel happy. In fact, there was something empty about it, not passionate. And it's leaving them feeling both sad, you know. And with this moon card here, it talks about, you know, illusions is one thing that the moon talks about illusions but it also talks about depth and feeling and that watery emotional energy so once again it's pretty much the same story if you are in a relationship and it's feeling stagnant you know if it's in this energy um and you're not sure why all you got to do is really focus on revitalizing, bring new exciting things in, really pay attention to your partner. Little acts of kindness go a long way. Here, honey, here's your favorite type of coffee. Hey, honey, I got your oil changed. Hey, look, I I um I made you dinner. Or hey, I uh, mowed I mowed the lawn because I know that you like it when it's mowed or you know I don't know I don't know a million different things I got the soap you like I got the razor you like I I got your favorite type of beer you know little things like that can really make somebody's day because you showed them that you care about them and that might be one key here is just taking some time to do some acts of kindness for your partner and if you're single it's just talking about you moving away from that kind of energy and no longer extending your cup to people who you don't feel happy with. Beautiful, Virgo. All right, so now we have... I got a card even before. <laughs> I actually couldn't remember what sign I was in, so I'm going to put that card back in there. It was the lovers in reverse, but I'm going to go ahead and put that card back in there. So we are on Libra. Yeah, Libra. Okay, so Libra. Interesting, Libra. Okay, so what I'm getting is that two different things here. Some of you are experiencing some sadness or disappointment because something didn't happen the way you thought it would. Something wasn't as fulfilling as you thought it would be. You know, they say that if you get everything you want, sometimes you're disappointed because it's just not all it was cracked up to be. Um, and that's kind of the energy I'm getting here. And you're hoping for news that that that's not the case. You're hoping for news that you're wrong or confirmation that you're wrong. And you want this unhappiness to end is what I'm getting. You you want, you basically, you basically don't want this to be true. That's one message. Another message I get here is that some of you are actually happy right now, but for some reason you're extremely anxious that you're going to be proven wrong, that there's going to be news that, oh, this person is not what you think they are. This person isn't as wonderful as you thought they were. You're expecting this ending. Why are you expecting that ending, Libra? Why aren't you trusting in this? I'm getting that's actually the bigger majority of you. And that's for, I would say, those of you in relationships for the most part. But for singles, if you're... I don't know why. I'm still getting that. Being worried that things aren't... Yeah. You're worried that you're going to get new truths, that you were lied to, that this was all an illusion. So Libras, honestly, I, I mean, obviously, many of you may be single. You might not have anyone at this time. But I get majority of you are either in a committed relationship and it's going wonderfully and you're, you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop or you have someone in mind and they seem wonderful, but you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're expecting to lose something here, Libra. What's that about? Let's see. Okay, so Libra, first of all, what I'm seeing is that you should trust the situation. This person, as wonderful as they seem, is as wonderful as they are. Okay, that's what I'm seeing, Libra. I don't think there's any hidden agenda here. Yeah, okay, so we have the moon card, which talks about illusions. So I'm going to get a drink of water here, guys. Try not to cough. Ugh, dang cold. Sorry about that, guys. 
So yeah, that moon talks about illusions, and then we have the Seven of Chalices and the Knight of Wands. Things are going wonderfully. Things are very passionate. You know, things are very romantic. They seem perfect. Pretty much perfect. Not perfect, perfect, but perfect. And you're just wondering where it's going to go wrong. Libra, stop that. Stop that. You're more likely to manifest something going wrong if you sit there and assume it's going to happen. So the best thing you can do for yourself is to stop with, see in this energy, this two of pentacles, you have the man walking up behind the woman and she's just gazing out the window, not looking at him. So I get that things have been great, passionate, but for some reason there's this sense of melancholy around you, Libra. You're worried things aren't going to work out. You're worried there's something wrong. Libra, there's not. I'm get that's at least the feeling I'm getting for about 90% of you at least. Maybe more. This is what it seems to be. This person is what they seem to be. Obviously there's the little things we all, you know, uh put forward when we're trying to make a good impression in a new relationship for sure, but the big things it's what you think it is. See how she's laid bare there, completely bare to his eyes? That's what's going on. This person is showing you who they are. They're being open. Believe them. All right, Libra. That's actually pretty beautiful. I mean, I don't know why you're so concerned. It could be that in the past you were, you know, short-sighted. Someone took you for a fool, that kind of energy, and tried to do you wrong, and you're worried that's going to happen again. But honestly, Libra, I don't think you have anything to worry about. All right, my Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Okay. Okay, so Scorpio, who are you fighting? Who are you ready to fight right now? I, I'm kind of getting Scorpio against the world vibes here. I'm getting that a lot of you are feeling stressed, overburdened, unstable. Like, you just don't feel aligned right now. And you really feel like everyone's out to get you. What's going on, Scorpio? It, you might feel like your partner is lashing out at you. If you're single, you may feel that nobody's giving you a proper shot. No one's giving you a chance. No one's taking time to get to know the real you. Or Scorpio, this could you... <laughs> I get okay, a couple different stories. This could be you beating them off with the stick because you're feeling very... Okay, so some of you are not wanting a relationship right now because there's something that has you feeling stressed, feeling overburdened, stuck in your head. And it's make Okay, some of you got some serious resting bitch face. I just gotta say... I hate to say that because I love my Scorpios. I love Scorpio. There is, in my opinion, not a deeper, deeper sign than a Scorpio. They have such capacity to love that it's insane. But, but, I'm getting some serious resting bitch face here, Scorpio. I love you, but there's, you're, you're basically mean mugging people away if you're, si if you're single. That's the energy I'm getting for most of you. There's just a lot going on in your life and you're not having it. And even if you are really wanting that relationship, because with this nine of pentacles, I'm getting that you're not feeling very happy on your own if you are single. So, which is interesting. So, even though you might want a relationship, you're ticked off about something, okay? You're ticked off about something. I'm not sure what it what it is, Scorpio. Um, It could be that there was something you wanted and it ended. You could have felt betrayed by somebody and that has you kind of pulling back. That's a very specific message. That's not all of you for sure, but... I just get that for the month of February, a lot of you, even if you're in a relationship, you're going to pull back quite a bit. And I think the reason you're going to pull back, even if you're in a relationship, is you don't want to pull that stinger out on your partner, okay? I think a lot of you are going to try really hard not to lash out at other people, even if you feel like that's what your first instinct is right now. You're just up in your mind. There's a lot you feel off balance about. There's a lot you're stressed about. You might be reevaluating a lot of stuff right now, and it has you feeling uncomfortable. You feel a bit bruised here, Scorpio. But just know with this nine of wands here, that indicates that the battle's almost over. 
okay? So you're going to get through this energy just fine. My my advice would be to keep the words to a minimum. Try not to, to strike someone down with your words because, Scorpio, you have um, quite the capacity to use your words as a weapon or to build someone up. So you have a lot of power with your words. So just try to use it. Use it in a kind, loving manner. You know what? This this is interesting. King of Chalices, Ace of Swords, and Ten of Chalices. So in the month of February, you're going to have opportunities coming your way. That's what I'm getting. You're going to have people who are going to want to comfort you. You're going to have people who are looking at you like you're everything they want. You are the chocolate sundae on top of the chocolate sundae okay i'm <laughs> that was weird but <laughs> i'm getting that people are going to be looking at you like your dessert scorpio in the month month of february but you might feel a little closed off you might have some you know mean looks about you but people are still going to be looking at you like yeah interesting that's kind of conflicting scorpio that is interesting. You know, with that, um, those cards coming in after, it's very possible that that might be the energy you fall into by the end of February. So at the beginning to middle of February, you might have that very closed off, maybe angry energy. With this Ten of Swords, you know, that kind of sad energy, which we already had the Ten of Swords, so it's just kind of talking about it again. But then I see you moving into something a bit more passionate, you know, kind of getting over whatever's plaguing you right now and then kind of letting it go and moving forward in a really kind of beautiful way. So if you're in a relationship, things might be rocky um, beginning to middle of February, but by the end, things will come back. To where they should be if you are single you're probably gonna be you know shying away from people well actually you're probably gonna be kicking them away <laughs> from the beginning to the middle of February and by the end of February I think you're gonna be a little bit more open to this kind of passion so you guys actually might have several offers by the end of February all right now we have Sagittarius Oh, Sagittarius. Okay, so immediately, right there, you guys are feeling... There's something in your mind that you just won't stop replaying. You keep thinking about something over and over and over again, and the more that you think about it, the more stressed out, anxious, upset you're getting. The more that you're... You're not sleeping, Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting. That there's something you're fearing, okay? Or there's something that you you can't let go of, something from the past, and it's just playing in your mind over and over and over again. And it's making it almost impossible for you to juggle everything else in your life right now. Even normal everyday activities are becoming more and more difficult for you because for one, you're not getting sleep, Sagittarius. What are you worried about? I mean, this is a love reading, so it's very possible that there's something. If you're single, maybe there's a situation that you felt you missed out on from the past. Maybe you felt like you you missed an opportunity with someone. You missed out on a chance to really build something with them. And you're playing the situation with them over and over and over. Wow. Wow. And you're replaying the moments with them over and over and over again, you know, not letting go of the past. Um, if you're in a relationship, um, maybe something happened in this relationship in the past that you felt betrayed and you're worried about it happening again. So this might be a lack of trust, you know, in your partner. Um, and a lot of you are just not sure what to do at this point. Okay. And this might, whatever you're stressed about might not be love related. It just might be affecting your love life right now because you're not getting sleep because you're up in your head because you're living in kind of a state of anxiety and fear. That's going to block you from receiving and giving the love that you're looking for. 
okay? So in the month of February, my advice would be whatever you're playing over and over in your in your head, whatever is keeping you, like basically when I see the chariot in reverse, I think of someone who just blew a tire on their car and they're stuck on the side of the road. That's what I'm seeing here is that basically you have a flat tire in love right now. And I think that is because of this energy. Whatever it is that you're replaying in your mind, whatever it is that's keeping you awake at night, whatever you're afraid of, let it go. I know that sounds easier said than done, but it is not. It is easy. Let it go. Let it go. Move away from it. Let go of the past because the past is keeping you from enjoying the present. Not only that, but holding on to your past is making your present miserable. And it's, I mean, literally, one minute from now is the future. So think of it as you also creating and manifesting an unhappy future. Every minute that you dwell in the past is a minute lost. Okay? So just think of it that way. You could be putting your energy towards so many other things. Like Sagittarius, you have a huge capacity to, to um, manifest what you desire because you tend to be a sign that as the archer, you know, you basically point your arrow, shoot it, and nine times out of ten, you, you hit your goal. Might take time, but you have the lasting ability you have the motivation to get there okay but in this energy this is going to block you from getting what you want sagittarius yeah with this okay hermit card i basically see to me it looks like him reminiscing about the past reminiscing like this is to me basically him thinking about um how how a different situation felt when he was in it reminiscing about the past feeling very alone shutting yourself off from the world what is going on sagittarius wow okay then we have the tower card here so once again you know and this is the first time that i've really seen it this way usually when i saw this card in the tarot of sexual magic it looked passionate exciting except for this guy with the axe in the background it looked like something that was taboo something other people might judge you for but to me when i see this in this reading it basically looks to me like you've trapped yourself in the past in a relationship that's no more or a situation that's no more and you're replaying what went wrong over and over and over again and you're beating yourself up over the head or this could be your fear this could be you're afraid if you put yourself out there things are going to go wrong you're afraid that if you completely bear yourself to someone bear your soul make yourself vulnerable that person it's just not going to work out you're going to get hurt but sagittarius you you can't live in that energy it's going to keep you where you are and you would stay miserable so in february that's the energy i'm seeing but if you really want to move away from that you're going to have to let go you're going to have to let go and I, I honestly my recommendation is to go a little bit wild sagittarius do things unexpectedly do things do something exciting and I would say do it on your timetable. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not a good idea to do something that you need to do. So, and that's kind of confusing. If someone is saying, oh, I wouldn't try dating that person, but you really want to, do it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I say, you know, barring certain circumstances. Um, but... Yeah, Sagittarius, I'm I'm having a hard time thinking straight with your pile, and I think that's kind of where you're feeling. Things are just, you feel overwhelmed, overburdened, and you're tired. You're just so tired, Sagittarius. Um, so my only word of advice for you is to let go of the past, and that is going to do wonders in taking the load off your shoulders. All right, Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn. So we have the Empress and the High Priestess. I need to take a drink of my water for this one. 
Capricorn. Capricorn. See? <laughs> Capricorn, that's the new word for this. No, Capricorn, you're feeling damn good right now. You're feeling beautiful, handsome, sexy, attractive, worthwhile. You're feeling some serious self-worth. You are feeling some serious self-love. You're comfortable in your own skin right now. And not only that, but I think that you actually feel like clarity has either come your way or is coming your way. You're feeling good. You feel like things are starting to right themselves in the month of February. If you felt like things weren't good before or things weren't happening as you wanted them to before, you feel like your ships are coming in. You know, and that sadness of the past, it's gone. You let go of it. That's what I'm getting. Anything that you were holding on to too tightly in the past, you let go of it. And then now you're feeling damn good, Capricorn. Um, a lot of you, I actually see you opening up your eyes, freeing yourself from whatever situation kept, kept you trapped emotionally or mentally. And a lot of you, this is interesting, if you're single, I see that a lot of you won't be extending your cup to others at this time because you're just feeling so damn good on yourself like you're feeling so damn good in who you are right now you're feeling good by yourself um if you're in a relationship this might be still you focusing on yourself not that you're breaking up with your partner i just see you focusing on your stability your happiness feeling really good about yourself feeling really comfortable my throat chakra is really struggling. I have to admit, I think that might be left over from the Sagittarius, but it might be you guys too. Even though you're feeling very happy, maybe you're having a hard time expressing that. You just feel good. I think you just feel really good, Capricorn. But I see for a lot of you, it's just a very independent, happy energy. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in the moon. Yeah. So, I basically, hmm, I, with this, once again, I see her basically laying everything bare, putting everything out into the open. So, anything that you might have lied to yourself about, anything that you refuse to see, any illusions that you created or other people created, you now see see it for exactly what it was for good or the bad you see the truth you know what it's all about now and that actually has you feeling pretty good pretty unburdened you know like things are going your way i just i just basically see a huge weight was lifted off your soul shoulders and yeah this is right here with this world card. This is basically cycles coming to an end, new cycles starting, feeling fulfilled, wish fulfillment, being happy with this knave of wands. You know, I see you guys feeling passionate. So even though I'm not I'm not getting that a lot of you are going to be extending your cup, but you're going to be feeling very passionate in general. Some of you might be dating and you're feeling very passionate. You might not you might not um, extend love towards somebody, like your emotions towards someone else, but you're wanting to have fun and express passion. Because once again, romantically, you're feeling really good. Feeling really good. So for February, I think this is going to be a really free month for you. If you're single, you might, you might date around. You might date several people and enjoy it and not make a commitment to anybody. If you're in a relationship with somebody, things will be passionate, but you're still emotionally going to be focusing on yourself is what I'm getting. All right, Capricorn. I liked that. That was interesting, though. That was very interesting. All right. Who's next? Is it Pisces? I think it's... No, it's Aquarius, I think. Yeah, it's Aquarius. Okay. So Aquarius. Aquarius. Are you starting to figure things out right now? Yeah. Okay. So Aquarius. 
You feel like things are picking up right now. You feel like you're figuring things out. You know, a lot of fast movement towards what you want right now. A lot of you, if you're single, you're feeling really good and single. You're you're starting to realize how much you bring to the table. There's a lot of self-worth here. Being happy and being grateful for what's around you. You know, and a lot of you, if you're single, you might be taking a rest from relationships. You might not be extending your cup to anybody. You might not even be interested in dating anybody right now. Things are just happening and you're just happy. Like you feel like you're on your path now. You feel like you've ended any toxic or bad cycles for you. And you really feel like you're moving in the right direction. That's awesome, Aquarius. Well, that's a lot of cards. Let's see here. Yeah, you feel like things are just falling into place. You feel like life is... Life is honey right now. Like, I, I, I really see that things are really going in your favor at the moment. And a lot of it is that you're not giving energy to connections or situations that don't serve you anymore. You're not even wasting the energy at all. In fact, a lot of you might not even be communicating with people who you don't, you feel like would be a waste of energy for you. You're not even putting words into the mix. That's what I'm getting. Is it a lot of, okay. Some of you might be ghosting people from your past, people that you feel, um, you know, drained you emotionally, toxic connections, that kind of stuff. I get you might be ghosting some of those people. Okay. That I do feel that, that some of you are just kind of moving on from it, no longer giving anything to it. You basically are trusting that you found your path, you're narrowing your focus, and you're letting things unfold as it is, and you're happy. You're just very comfortable right now, Aquarius, but it, you know, we are in Aquarius energy, so you're in your element for sure, so I think a lot of you are just doing really well. Okay, I've got the Ace of Swords like five times now. I don't know how many times I've gotten it, but... <laughs> I really feel that um, if you guys are single and you do um, have, if you do enter into kind of the dating atmosphere, if you do enter into relationships, I think it's going to be less about love and emotion and more about the passion and the kinkiness, okay? More about the excitement at this time. I don't think there's going to be a lot of love there at this time if you're single, but you might have a lot of fun. You might get a lot of experimenting out of your system. Um, if you're in a relationship, I see once again, you're feeling very good, very comfortable, very happy where you're at, very happy with your person, and you might uh, try some experimenting with your person, might try out some new things with your person. Um, with this magician, you guys are in your element. You guys are manifesting everything you want right now. Like, and you feel like you have the world at your fingertips, yeah. Yeah, you feel like you can pretty much make anything you want happen right now. You feel like you're holding all the cards, that you have the power in your life. You you feel like you're transforming your situation. You're ending things that don't serve you. You're starting things that you cycles that you want to start. You know, and you're you're feeling I don't get that you guys are feeling especially passionate, you know, romance-wise, but I think you're just enjoying where you're at. You're just enjoying it right now. There's not a lot of love, not a lot of emotions right now. I, I have to say that again. But I think you guys are still having a lot of fun. And that's awesome for February. So that's what I see for my Aquarius people. That was interesting for sure. All right. And last but definitely not least, Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Oh. Okay, so Pisces, what I'm seeing for the month of February is there might have been someone that, if you're single, I get the feeling there was someone you really had feelings for, someone you had a crush on, and you might have put yourself out there and expressed your feelings to them. And what I get here is that this person cut you down and shattered your hopes for um, a relationship with this person. And it really, oh, Pisces, this breaks my heart. 
You know, I love Pisces people. They just have this emotional, empathic, beautiful, just loving energy. And oh, Pisces, you're killing me. Oh, so yeah, basically what I'm seeing is someone, someone kind of broke your heart here, Pisces. If you're single, I get that um, if you didn't extend your emotions, what you might have done is you might have sat back, you know, maybe been afraid they were going to, you know, turn you down. And then one day you saw them with somebody else and that broke your heart. If you're in a relationship with somebody, I get a couple different stories here. This could be a breakup in February, but that's super specific. Okay, so that's not going to be for all of you. Or I see that in a relationship that you are very happy in, um, you found something out that actually made you very unhappy. You might have felt betrayed in this situation. You might have felt like your partner really, really hurt you. Oh, Pisces. Oh, I <laughs> Pisces, this breaks my heart. And a lot of you... Okay, so this is beautiful, though. So I think that by... I would say the middle of February to the end of February, um, you guys are really going to accept what has happened. And some of you are going to move forward into new horizons, you know, move away from the situation completely onto new things and realize that there's a big world out there. You're not contained, Pisces. Okay, you don't have to be stuck in this tiny fishbowl. You have the whole ocean to swim in, an ocean of other fish okay, who can give you everything you're looking for. So some of you are in that energy, and I absolutely love that Pisces. That's amazing. Um, for those of you in a relationship, if you break up with this person, this is the same energy. You're going to realize there's other fish in the sea. You're going to realize that your world is, is, you have limitless options. You have limitless potential, you know, and if this is a situation that you stay in, but you feel betrayed. This is going to be you forgiving that person and moving forward and trying to start anew with them, especially if this is someone that you want to spend your life with, someone that you know you're meant to be with. So either way, by the end of February, I see you moving into a much better state of mind that's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful and exciting. You know, with this Knave of Wands, once again, by the end of February, I see you feeling, because a lot of you Pisces people are very dreamy, romantic. You know, you play out a lot of scenarios in your head, kind of like a movie. And that's one of my favorite things about you Pisces, is that you have your head up in the clouds. The just romantic kind of outlook on most things. And I feel that whatever happens that hurts you, it pulls you out of that. It shatters, you know, those dreams. But then by the end of February, it's, it's, that movie's back. It, the movie's back. Okay. The intermission is over. And, you know, I, I basically get that everything restarts. It's renewed. It's more exciting again. It's romantic. It's passionate. So even though the beginning of February might be really rough, Pisces, I'm not going to lie to you, yet yeah, really rough, Pisces with this Ten of Swords, really painful, by the end of February, everything is, is going to be absolutely wonderful. You're going to accept whatever happened, and you're going to have that positive outlook again. Oh, I love you, Pisces. I absolutely love you guys, and I'm, yeah... Yeah, you're going to have options if you're single. You're going to realize there's more fish in the sea. You're going to realize that you can have everything you want. You can have the full meal deal. And you're going to be able to move past this. All right, everybody. That is every sign. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please comment down below and let me know if I should do more videos like this. I love you so much and have a wonderful day.